This is Pegasus Launch Control. We're being joined now here in the Mission Director Center by Tim Dunn, who is our NASA Launch Director from Launch Services Program, who has been involved in the countdown today and following the uh, troubleshooting with the issue that developed that uh, brought about having to scrub today's launch attempt. And Tim, first of all, I wonder if you can tell us exactly what the problem is that we saw, which I gather, you know, developed en route. Yes, George, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, what happened was uh, when we're in that last, oh, I guess about 25 minutes prior to uh, the initial drop, we had an issue with the hydraulic system on board the L-1011, and it's the hydraulic system not for the aircraft operation of the plane, but the hydraulic system that enables the release of Pegasus from the belly of the plane. So it's a part of the launch release system. Uh, it's the hydraulics that control that. So uh, it was not meeting uh, the prescribed uh, launch release pressures, indicating a problem with the hydraulic pump. So uh, we uh, fortunately we had a little bit of launch window to work with. So we uh, uh, did a, a lot of valiant troubleshooting in the air. As you can imagine, everyone really wanted to, uh, to preserve every opportunity to have uh, another launch attempt today. So we did circle around the racetrack once, uh, resetting breakers on board the aircraft, uh, uh, doing what we could in flight to try to get that system back and functional again. And as you saw on the second one, we, we continued that troubleshooting right up until about the L minus four minute period where we did not want to get into all of those critical uh, switch actions that enable Pegasus for flight if we knew we had this remaining red condition. So that's, uh, that's why we didn't launch t today. A little bit disappointing for the team. Obviously, you love to go in the first attempt. Uh, we did battle a lot of weather today, and uh, we were able to fly around and over and under a lot of uh, precipitation and bad clouds on the way out to the drop point. So uh, fortunately, uh, we got a very dynamic system in Pegasus. It's a beautiful launch system to allow you that type of flexibility. Uh, but however, uh, just like any other uh, launch vehicle system that we use, uh, you do have hardware issues that crop up. Something just chose this point in time not right. to be good to us. And, and while disappointing that we don't go today, it's part of our business. We're used to it. Uh, the team uh, behind me is putting into uh, steps all of the uh, actions to return us to base successfully. We're going to come back to the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station skid strip. Uh, we're going to safe all the systems on both Pegasus and the L-1011, and then we'll really be able to dig in and find out why this hydraulic system uh, did not function as, uh, as designed today. Uh, ideally, we're going to get that resolved today, and uh, we've already made uh, uh, arrangements, so we're all leaning forward as if we can go tomorrow. Uh, we have the range scheduled. And so that will not be an issue. Weather looks slightly better for tomorrow. So that looks like it won't be as troubling of an issue as it was today. Uh, but really the open item is will we be able to resolve this hardware anomaly and then get our, our folks the necessary crew rest later this evening to get back on console in the early morning hours tomorrow. All right, Tim, that pretty much sums it up, I think. When we get back, we'll hit the ground into troubleshooting and uh, kind of see if we can find out what it was that didn't work in that hydraulic system and if that can be fixed before tomorrow morning and meanwhile don't burn any bridges toward a tomorrow morning launch attempt that's that's affirmative yeah we were going to keep everybody leaning forward uh to preserve every opportunity to go tomorrow and the launch time is still uh, same time as it It'll was be today. the identical time as today so all right, well, thank you, Tim. That kind of sums up uh, where we are. We see now on the L-1011 that the wheels are down, so the uh, runway must be in sight. And uh, we'll just stay tuned for further status throughout the day to see how they do on uh, fixing the, the problem and getting us back in the morning for another takeoff and launch. Tim Dunn, our NASA Launch Director from Launch Services Program. This is Pegasus Launch Control. We'll stand by now and hopefully uh, get some brief video of the uh, landing of the airplane from the chase plane that continues to follow along. This is Pegasus Launch Control.